Here's another uh, vector equation and it says that we've got a line L1 and it passes through points P and Q and P has this position vector and Q has this position vector uh, relative to the origin. Find an equation of the line. It tells us about another line uh, 2 which has a point on the line and a direction as follows. So the point on the line is 6, A and B and the direction is 1, 4 and negative 1 and it also passes through point Q and point Q is this one here. Find the values of A and B and find in degrees uh, the angle between the lines. Right, firstly a picture to help us with this one. This is a slightly different question here. Here's a line. We know that P and Q are on the line. This is line L1. P and Q is on the line. That's P, let's say, and that's Q, let's say. And that has position vector, uh, P has position vector negative 1, negative 8, and 3, and Q has position vector 2, negative 9, and 1, with respect to the origin, which is down here somewhere. Find the equation of the line. Well, for the equation of a line, R is usually equal to A, plus lambda b, where a is a point on the line and b is the direction of the line. Now we've got two points on the line, let's just use that as our point on the line. Now do we have a direction? No, but we can work out the direction p to q. The direction of p to q is that vector, take away that one. It's 2, negative 9, 1, subtract negative 1, negative 8 and 3. And it is equal to um, that vector there would be equal to, uh, well, let, let's just do it in our working. The, d the direction P to Q is going to be equal to 2, negative 9, 1, take away negative 1, negative 8, and 3, which will give us 3, negative 1, and negative 2. Now, that's the direction of the line. Uh, how does it work? Check it works. If I add that direction to this point, I'll get here. If I add 3 to negative 1, I'll get here. If I add negative 1 to negative 8, I get here. If I add negative 2 to 3, I get here. So that is indeed the direction. And therefore, we can write the line now. We've got everything we need. We've got a point on the line, and we've got a direction of the line. So R is equal to, let's use that point on the line, negative 1, negative 8, and 3, plus lambda lots of 3, negative 1, and 2. And I may even combine these for use later, it might help. Negative 1 plus 3 lambda, negative 8, subtract lambda, and 3 plus 2 lambda, and I'm done. There is the vector equation of the line. Okay, now, we've got another line L2 as follows, and it also passes through the point Q. Okay, so let's go back to our picture here. We've got another line here, and it also passes through Q. So let me just draw another line like that. We don't know what direction it goes in, but we know for sure it passes through Q. And we also know that it's uh, equation of the line. Okay, So we know that um, it has this equation here. If it goes through Q, okay, we can say that this equation of the line i.e. 6 plus mu, a plus 4 mu, and b subtract uh, mu. That's the vector equation of the line. That must be equal to the, uh, the coordinates of q. And the coordinates of q are 2, negative 1, and 1. So this must be equal to 2, negative 1, Sorry, negative 9 and 1, negative 9 and 1. So let's write our three equations from this. On the one hand, 6 plus mu must be 2. On the other hand, a plus 4 mu must be negative 9. And lastly, b subtract mu must be 1. Equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Now clearly, equation 1 is our best bet to start off with. From 1, what can you say mu is? Mu must be negative 4, subtracting 6 off both sides. And now we can find A and B from 2. From 2, we can say that A, um, 4 times negative 4, A subtract 16 would be negative 9, 
add 16 to both sides and we would get ourselves that a must be equal to 7 and from 3 we can state that b take away mu so subtract negative 4 must be equal to 1 i.e. b plus 4 is 1 so taking 4 of both sides b must be equal to negative 3 so for that we've got ourselves the values of mu and we've got ourselves the values of a and b so just to summarize here mu is equal to um, negative 4 a is equal to 7 and b is equal to negative 3 okay now we are finally asked to find the, uh, the in degrees to one decimal place the acute angles between the lines okay so I'm just going to write down mu is negative 4, a is 7 and b is negative 3 here. I'm going to rub this out. Now let's go back to our uh, picture on the previous slide. If we want to find the acute angles between the lines we want to say find uh, that angle there. We need the directions that the lines are going in. Now we know the direction the first line is going in. We worked it out. The first line, L1, is going in the direction 3, negative 1, and negative 2. And the direction of the second line is going 1, 4, negative 1. So it's going 1, 4, negative 1. Okay, so that's going to be our, let's say, our A, and that's going to be our B, and we're going to use the cos theta formula. So A is 1, 4, negative 1. So we're going to say this vector, the direction of the line is 1, 4, negative 1. B is going to be equal to 3, negative 1, negative 2. And we're going to use the formula cos theta. It's going to be A dot B over the modulus of A multiplied by the modulus of B. Okay, so let's uh, work this out. A dot B is 1, 4, negative 1 dotted with 3, negative 1, negative 2 which is going to be 1 times 3 plus 4 times negative 1 plus negative 1 times negative 2 which is going to be 3 take away 4 add, add uh, 2 which is going to be equal to 1 the modulus of A is going to be equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared plus negative 1 squared which is clearly going to be the square root of 18. The square root of b is going to be equal to the square root of 3 squared plus negative 1 squared plus negative 2 squared, which is going to be equal to the square root of 14. And now we're going to use the formula, the cos theta formula. Cos theta is therefore a dot b, which is 1 over the square root of 18, the square root of 14. So theta is going to be the inverse cos of 1 over root 18, root 14. Okay, so tap that into your calculator. Uh, inverse cos uh, fraction 1 over root 18 multiplied by root 14. You get yourself 86.4 degrees, which is acute. 86.4 degrees, and we're done. So everything's done with regards to this question.